Hey guys, welcome back to another project reveal. Today I'll be sharing with you an Airbnb that we just finished installing. I've been sharing a lot of snippets on my Insta stories, but today you get to experience all this goodness. It's one of the best so far. I know I say this with most of my projects, but with every project, uh, we have a different touch, a different vibe, and the vibes with this one, they're just, just right. So it's such a beautiful space. I'll be taking you through the living room and uh, the bedrooms. So this Airbnb is a two bedroom apartment and we'll be starting with the living room area. Uh, so when I think Airbnb, what comes in mind is creating an environment that is different from the norm, but still making sure it's very comfortable and beautiful. So in this space, you're working with more of an open floor plan, which meant creating different rooms in one room, uh, but still making sure that uh, furniture placement allowed good flow of traffic. So when you walk in, the first thing you notice is the dining area, which is actually close to the kitchen. This space can accommodate eight people max, and we brought in a table that is an eight seater, and we went with more of a glass top to give that illusion of empty space, because uh, the space is not as big, but still there's room to accommodate eight people. I'm also in love with the artwork we have in the dining area. I feel like it gives a pop of color in a very minimalistic way, or in a way that isn't overwhelming in that dining area space. Now moving to the living room area, uh, this space allowed for more of a sectional couch and the fact that you had gone with a glass dining table, it meant we could play around with dark colors and that's why we went with more of a dark grayish couch. So many in an Airbnb, you'll have different personalities visiting. These are people with different design styles and this means uh, you have to play around with neutral colors because this is something that most people will fall in love with and uh, you notice a lot of neutral through the furniture we have, the curtains, the pillows, the carpet, a lot of it uh, we have neutrals uh, popping up. I also wanted to bring in a small percentage of uh, warm tones and that is something you notice through the TV cabinet we have that is a mix of white and wood and the pop of gold on the handles and also uh, introduce some warmth through this pillow that I have right here. I feel like that is my pop of color. It's not too much and uh, it kind of helps break uh, most of the neutrals that we have in the room. One of my favorite pieces in this living room is the coffee table. I feel like it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece, super, super classy and unique. And it just brings a bit of character in this space. And I loved uh, decorating it with some of uh, the decor pieces you see. Uh, when it comes to decorating, I feel like it's what helps elevate the whole space. So you'll see most of that happening on the couch through the pillows. We have a few plants in the room. We have the dining table set up. We have the coffee table set up. I feel like this is what takes the room from one level to, to the other. I also decided to bring in a mirror in the living room, which was actually a last minute purchase. Uh, and it's because I wanted to help open up the living room space uh, a lot more uh, because mirrors kind of bounce back light in the room, making it more brighter and bigger. And now we can move uh, into the bedrooms and we have two bedrooms in this apartment and we decided to create the same setup with both to just like have that symmetry.
worked with a lot of neutrals and that is something you see through the bed, the carpet, the curtains and I love how the beige tones kind of flow with the walls because we were not able to repaint the walls and I just love how they kind of bled together. Now to break all the beige tones we have, I wanted to add some pops of black and white and that is something that you notice through the artwork and that kind of goes down to the bedding we have through the throw blanket and uh, the pillows that we have on the bed. So just like the living room, we also brought in pops of brown in the bedrooms through the bedside tables we have. They're beautiful minimalist pieces and we made uh, sure that we did like a minimalistic setup so that at least we leave room for uh, the people coming in to to place their phones, to place their books. So they're decorated in a very minimalistic but beautiful way. One of our main focus when setting up these bedrooms was making sure that we created a comfortable cozy space just like when you walk into an hotel you want to find a comfortable bed a cozy bed so we made sure that we brought in very comfortable mattresses good quality beds super super soft bedding um, and this is something that I think we were more keen on to just like make sure everyone was comfortable and uh, they were happy visiting us. All details of this Airbnb will be linked in the description box below. It's uh, ready for booking and you can come enjoy a few or many nights here. Again, a big thank you to my clients for allowing me to share this with you. Thank you for Jerry Photography uh, for coming through uh, for this shoot. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye.